In the late 1800s, the streets of London were shrouded in fear and darkness as a sinister figure stalked the city, leaving a trail of death in his wake. This mysterious figure was known as Jack the Ripper, a serial killer who claimed the lives of at least five women over a period of just a few months. The murders were brutal, with the victims being found mutilated and their internal organs removed. Despite a massive manhunt, the killer was never caught and the murders remain unsolved to this day, leaving the city to wonder who Jack the Ripper might have been and what drove him to commit such heinous crimes. The legend of Jack the Ripper has endured for more than a century, and it is likely that the mystery will continue to fascinate and horrify people for generations to come. The story of Jack the Ripper began on August 31, 1888, when the body of Marion Nichols was found in Bucks Row. The killer had mutilated the body and removed several of the victim's internal organs. Just a few days later, on September 8, another woman, Annie Chapman, was found murdered in a similar fashion in Hanbury Street. As the body count continued to rise, the press and the public became increasingly alarmed and the police struggled to find any leads in the case. The killer seemed to strike at random, leaving no clues behind at the crime scenes. Despite the efforts of the police, the killer remained at large and the murders continued. Elizabeth Stride was found murdered on September 30, 1888. Her body was discovered in the early hours of the morning in a yard off Burner Street, with her throat cut. There was no other mutilation of the body, leading some to believe that the killer had been interrupted before he could complete his usual grisly work. Catherine Eddowes was the second victim on the night of September 30, 1888. Her body was discovered in Mitre Square, just a few streets away from where Elizabeth Stride was found. Eddowes had also had her throat cut and her body was mutilated in a similar fashion to the other victims. Mary Jane Kelly was the fifth and final victim of Jack the Ripper. She was found murdered on November 9, 1888 in her room at 13 Miller's Court, off Dorset Street. Kelly's murder was the most gruesome of all the Ripper's victims, with her body mutilated beyond recognition. These five murders are often referred to as the canonical five. As the hunt for the killer intensified, a number of theories about his identity were put forth. Some people believed that the killer was a member of the Freemasons, while others suspected that he was a doctor or a butcher, given the precision with which the bodies were mutilated. Some even suggested that the killer might be a member of the royal family. Despite the many theories and suspects that were put forth, the identity of Jack the Ripper remains a mystery to this day. The legend of the killer has endured for more than a century, and it is likely that the mystery will continue to fascinate and horrify people for generations to come. There are many factors that contribute to the enduring mystery of Jack the Ripper. First and foremost, the killer was never caught, which means that there is no concrete evidence linking any particular person to the murders. Additionally, the murders took place in a time before modern forensic techniques were available, so the police were unable to gather and analyze DNA evidence or other clues that might have helped to solve the case. Despite the many theories and suspects that have been put forth over the years, the true identity of Jack the Ripper remains a mystery. Who was this shadowy figure who stalked the streets of London, taking the lives of five women and leaving behind no clues? Was he a member of the Freemasons, as some have suggested, or was he a doctor or a butcher, using his knowledge of anatomy to carry out the murders with precision? Or could he have been a member of the royal family, using his position of power and privilege to evade detection? The mystery of Jack the Ripper remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in criminal history, and it is likely that the true identity of the killer will remain a mystery forever. So, the legend of Jack the Ripper continues to haunt the streets of London, a reminder of the darkness that lurks within us all.